So I'm back in the garage and the arc droid is out. So today we are doing some arc droid stuff, but nothing productive. Um, if you remember a few videos back, I was trying to update the firmware on the actual arc droid robot itself and uh, failed. <laughs> so I went back and forth with Andrew, tried a few things, and uh, we determined that the micro SD slot on the arc droid doesn't appear to be working. So they sent me out a new board. And so for today, I'm going to replace the board, um, try to update the firmware. I'll do a recalibration because why not? Uh, I'm not sure if that would be necessary, but it makes sense to do it. And then maybe try to cut something out, make sure everything's working. But um, so nothing, no productive use of the arc droid today, but hopefully something interesting. Uh, I've never had this thing apart, so that ought to be interesting. Um, hopefully there's, I come up with uh, enough content to put a video out. Um, so we'll do that. Um, maybe a time-lapse video on taking it apart because there'll probably be some scratch in my head. Um, looks pretty simple though. So anyway, I'll take this apart, replace the board. And then uh, they also sent me this board or well at least the connectors for this my miniature board for the uh, for the control unit I haven't had any trouble with that so I'm probably not gonna replace it but I will replace this guy so that's what we're doing today All right, so if you're like me and you've never opened your arc droid before, this is what's on the inside. So if you take the back cover off and drop it down, there's the main board. Uh, well, that's the only bit. You know, there's some more boards underneath there. So maybe it's not the main board, but that's the board I'm replacing. It's at least a communications board. Um, so yeah, and here's the replacement board that's going in. So I've already cheated and taken a few pictures to make sure I get the, everything oriented correctly. I plug all this stuff back in, but it shouldn't be that bad. So here we go. All right, so it's been a while since I've been in the garage with the arc droid, um, over a week or so, but I'm back and the arc droid's back. So the beginning of this video, um, I started talking about replacing the board and, I'll sh and I showed you that um, it's been like a, a week or so and I've gone back and forth with Andrew because I had an issue. The issue turned out to be that um, one of the plugs for this, the sensor that senses the top arm, the back arm, um, wasn't, wasn't making a good connection. So uh, in the end, all I had to do is reseat those. So he sent me the board, and as I just showed you, I replaced the board. And um, once I reseated those, ticket, uh, those, those plugs, which Andrew, picked up on it immediately so that was 
not difficult. I did a couple of code, uh, typed in a couple of codes, sent him pictures of the of the um, output. He had to analyze what's going on. Immediately figured it out, and uh, I checked the sense or the limit switch. They seem to be working fine. Reseated the plugs. Everything's good. So the only other thing to do would be after replacing the main board, that's where the calibration is stored. I had to calibrate this thing. So you've probably been watching the calibration happen up here in the upper right hand for you, my left hand corner. Um, as I went through the calibration, I've showed that before, so I don't want to put a whole lot of time into that, but I um, calibrated it. So I'm going to do a test cut. And that's probably all I'm going to do today on this video is just to let everybody know that um, it's back working. I've got a new main board and a new communication board in the remote unit. So everything is working good. Um, the reason that it was required was because the micro SD card reader didn't work on my main board. Um, so swapped it out. I mean, I talked to Andrew several times and um, I don't know if he would do this with everybody or I doubt this would be a common thing, but he sent me a new main board because I felt comfortable replacing it. So I replaced it and I didn't want to be without the machine for however long it would take to ship and replace. So, um, anyway, it's back up. Everything's working good. I can update the firmware. Um, and even that, e even without the firmware update, everything was working fine. I was using it doing projects as you've seen. Um, but you know, for the fear that something, some new feature would come that I couldn't use, um, I wanted to get it updated. So anyway, that's why I did it and everything's good. The SD card, micro SD card reader works. Um, I did do an update, although it was at the current firmware anyway, but I validated that it was able to go through the process and calibration came out good. So. I think everything's good. The only thing left to do is do a test cut. So um, let's do that. Okay, so I got some uh, old 16 gauge that I've done several things on, mostly tests it looks like on this one. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do again. I drew a six inch by one inch rectangle just in you know, trace on simple trace here. And I'll go ahead and cut it out. Um, I think I've got it zeroed right there. So yeah, let's see what happens when I cut that out. It should be good, or hopefully it'll be good. So there we go, lines look straight. I believe the calibration is accurate, so. I think I'm good. I think the arc droid is repaired and ready for whatever I'm ready to do next with it. And uh, that's cool. All right, so there we go. Um, cut out what appears to be very square or rectangle, true rectangle. Um, everything's working well, uh, all the, you know, it can read and write. Um, I'm very happy with ArcDroid and Andrew for their support, you know, sending out the board. Um, Andrew's respond, been, been very responsive via email and, uh, we're able to figure out the problem. Um, the problem that I probably created when I didn't get the board seated pro or the plug seated properly, but um, yeah, everything's good now. Um, I've got all the features and uh, no worries. Very, very happy to have the Arc Droid and I'm very happy with the service and support I've, get, I've been getting from uh, Arc Droid. So I don't think this is a common problem. I don't think this would be something that anybody else would have to deal with. I mean, the failure of a micro SD slot, um, I don't know what it would be. Maybe it's a cold solder joint or something, who knows. But um, I'd be very I'd be shocked if that's a common problem. 
and I may be the only customer that had to do what just what I just did as far as replacing the main board so I wouldn't consider this to be a common thing and uh, not afraid of that a bit and I would recommend this product to anybody it's it's awesome the support's awesome and uh, how else could you get a plasma cutter in this small space it's or a CNC plasma cutter in this small space so anyway uh it's all good very happy with the arc droid and uh glad to have everything doing what it's supposed to do so end of the repair type videos and hopefully i'll have project type videos also have an update for um the shade structure videos coming so or the they've been installed and the shade cloth's getting installed so i'll do a quick short on that and show how that came out but uh yeah very happy with the product thanks for watching